and welcome to government class in today's government class we'll be talking about constitutionalism what is constitutionalism constitutionalism can simply be defined as strict adherence to the provisions and stipulations of the constitution by individuals institutions and the government in the course of performing political economic and social actions in the states so let's look at constitutionalism. We have constitution. Constitution is the body of rules, regulations, laws, conventions, and established precedents that guide the activities of individuals, governments in the country. Now we are looking at constitutionalism. Constitutionalism simply states that we as the government, we as individuals, as citizens of Nigeria, and institutions in the country, in Nigeria, must adhere strictly to the provisions and the stipulations of the constitution. So, wherever the constitution says our power ends, we have to listen because our power ends there. Wherever the constitution says our power extends to, that is where our power extends to. Wherever the constitution says we have a duty, we have a duty there. So, strict adherence to the provisions and the stipulations of the constitution by individuals, institutions, and the government is what we call constitutionalism. And this strict adherence is not just only in certain aspects of the constitution, but in all aspects of the constitution and in all aspects of performing our duties, we have to adhere strictly to the constitution. Constitutionalism is the ideology of adhering to the stipulations of the constitution without fear, favor, or prejudice. So when you are adhering to this stipulations of the constitution you have to be without fear you don't have to favor you must not favor one person over another person the constitution is equal to everybody nobody is higher than than the constitution no individual is higher than the constitution no institution of the country is higher than the constitution and no governmental power is higher than the constitution the constitution is above all so when we are strictly adhering to the um, to the provisions and stipulations of the constitution we have to do without fear we have to do without favor and we have to do without prejudice. The principle states that those who govern the society should do so in accordance with the laws of the land without favor, violating or denying human dignity. Constitutionalism can also be regarded as a political arrangement where there is a supreme law, generally called constitution, in which all the entire system is governed. So that is another um, you know, way we could define constitutionalism. A political arrangement where there is a supreme law generally called the constitution in which all the entire system or all the entire country is governed therefore constitutionalism can be regarded as a process of governing according to laid down rules regulations or principles so we are looking at constitutionalism right now from the aspects of the government so when we when the government when we define constitutionalism to the government itself we are telling them that they have to govern us according to the laid down rules regulations and principles of the constitution. It entails ruling according to the constitution of the state as against personal wishes of the rulers. So when we are so when those in power, when the governors, when the president and the senators are ruling, we are citizens of Nigeria, they are to do it according to the provisions of the constitution and not according to their own personal wishes. Constitutionalism also implies that the government that government rules under the law of the constitution where it derives its power from. Constitutionalism advocates the rule of law, which implies ruling according to the law. Nobody, no institution of government and no governmental power is above the law. Everybody governs, directs their activities according, uh, according to the stipulations of the constitution. Constitutionalism is quite different from constitution. Why constitution is a body of law rules, regulation, and principles with which a society is governed, constitutionalism, on the other hand, is that principle or ideology that states that sets out limitation of government and individual actions and activities in restriction to the, gov to the constitution. Let's bring it down a little. Basically, constitution is the body of law. Constitution is the written document or written document that guides our activities, that guides the activities of the government and institutions of the government. While constitutionalism is that principle or that ideology that sets the limitations of governmental power, that sets the limitations of individual actions, that sets where we, me, myself and yourself, where our powers cannot extend to, that sets the limits of our powers and the activities we can carry out. 
in accordance to the constitution in accordance to the constitution it says that the limitation of the government of government and individual actions and activities in restriction to the constitution constitutionalism it explains that the constitution must be obeyed and respected by individuals institutions and the rulers irrespective of their status presidents must obey the constitution Governors must obey the constitution. Senators must obey the constitution. The influential people in the society, the popular people in the society, they must obey the constitution. It states that the constitution must be respected and obeyed by all individuals, by every institution and the rulers, irrespective of the status. What does, what does this connote? This connotes that the law is no respecter of anybody, no matter who you are, no matter your father's money, no matter the money you have, no matter where you are coming from. The law is no respecter of anybody. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is below the law. The law is, the constitution is supreme. Constitutionalism is the idea often associated with the political theory of John Locke and the founder of the American Republic. It states that the government can and should be legally limited in its power and, and that the authority depends on its observing this limitation. So what uh, constitutionalism as a political theory of John Locke states is that the government should be legally limited in the power to avoid a dictatorial government. The government has to be legally, legally means it has to be stated in the constitution. If it's not stated in the constitution, it is illegal. So the powers of the government should be legally limited. What, what this does is that it the, when, when the powers of the government are legally limited by the constitution, the authority that is given to the government depends on how well they observe these limitations. So that is what um, constitutionalism um, associated as the theory of John Locke simply states. Let's look at the following concepts of constitutionalism. First, before we can uh, put constitutionalism in place, there are some things that have to already be in place before we can say we are using, we are following the concept of constitutionalism. What are the things that have to be in place? First, there must be in place a higher law. This higher law is called the constitution and it could be either written or unwritten. Secondly, there must be an adequate and timely judicial review in the political system. So we are, the, um, the judicial arm of government has to constantly check if the, if the president, if the governors, if those in the executive arm of government are not abusing power, if they are obeying the legal limits of their powers according to the constitution. So there must be an adequate and timely judicial review in the political system. Thirdly, there, there must be an independent judiciary Com comprising of independent judges dedicated to legal reasoning. We have to have impartial judges in order to make sure that the principles of, of the, um, in order to make sure that people are following the principles of the constitution, the stipulations of the constitution, which is constitutionalism. So for that, for, con for the concept of constitutionalism to take ground in a country, we need to have an independent judiciary that is dedicated to legal reasoning and impartial judiciary. Thirdly, there must be due process of law in accordance with the rule of law. That is, if somebody um, passes the boundary of their of the legal limits of their power, they have to dance to the beat of the they have to dance to the beat of the judiciary. They have to dance to the beat of the constitution. So there must be due process due process of law. If people break the boundaries of this constitution and they are not being punished, Basically, it means that there is no constitutionalism is not followed. That is, people can break this boundary and go scot free. So, for the concept of constitutionalism to be grounded in the constitution of a country, there must be due process of the law in accordance with the rule of law. That is, even if somebody, even if the president breaks, um, goes beyond the legal limits of his power according to the constitution, it should be punished according to um, the constitution. It should dance to the beat of the judiciary. If anybody, if you and I break any um, rule or regulation in the constitution, we have to dance to the beat of the judiciary. So due process of law must take place in order for us to have, in order for the concept of constitutionalism to take ground. There must be a binding procedure establishing the method of lawmaking in the state. For us to have constitutionalism, we have to have a binding procedure that establishes the method through which we make laws 
in the state or in the country. With this, we've come to the end of this class. In the course of this class, we talked about constitutionalism extensively, extensively, and we looked at some of the concepts of and we looked at the concept of constitutionalism and some of the things that have to be grounded, that have to be put in place before constitutionalism can take ground, can take ground in a country. With this, we've come to the end of this class. Thank you.